Israel is holding crisis talks with the United States after the progressive squad forced House Democratic leadership to cut $1 billion in funding for Israel's Iron Dome from a short-term funding bill passed to avoid a government shutdown. The Iron Dome is a purely defensive system that Israel uses to protect its civilians against airborne missiles, including the thousands that Hamas launched at the country earlier this year. Harris, this force was done because of the progressive squad, as I noted, Folks like Ilhan Omar, who says Israel hypnotized the world, uh, talked about dual loyalties, the tropes, the anti-Semitic tropes that we've heard from her. Rashida Tlaib was another one. Uh, We recall that she questioned the loyalties of congressmen and women who support Israel. These are people with anti-Semitic statements that are now dictating foreign policy in the halls of Congress. Yeah, I I wonder if this isn't some sort of, that the White House wouldn't even get involved in this, Mm -hmm. right? I wonder if it's not some sort of virtue signaling to that group by the White House. Like, yeah, we hear you. I mean, we know that the president is currently losing his base. (laughs) I mean, that's what's happening when you mismanage so many things from the White House. Um, So I I wonder, and, and remember the icy relationship that Benjamin Netanyahu and former President Obama had. Mm. Well, Biden was vice president then. So yes, we're talking about members of Congress, but we're also talking about someone who said that he could pull bicamerally everybody together on the Hill because he was there for 40 plus years. So I put some of this, I lay this at the feet of the White House because they can say whether or not we spend money in a bill because we want to help our greatest ally in that region defend itself. This is defensive only, mm-hmm. right? This isn't an offensive piece of equipment, the Iron Dome. It's, it's to protect people's lives. It doesn't go on the offense. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm somewhat in a quandary over what this gets us. Maybe politically it gets him or, or them something. Yeah, I think you make the key point. He's lost his base. You know, they want him to roll back Title 42 on immigration. Right. He's not done it, so this is a way to placate them. I think that's exactly right. But let's pull up. You mentioned it's a defensive weapon. You know, it doesn't shoot out rockets. It no. stops them from coming in. And there are a lot of them still coming, unfortunately. A lot of them. And we have, mm-hmm. look at this image, Emily. Every, every flash you see, as APAC points out, is a rocket being destroyed. It is protecting innocent lives. It's protecting both Jews and Arabs. Every flash is protecting an innocent life by stopping a rocket from across that border. That's why this is so political. It is so transparent that the squad is doing this because of their anti-Semitic outlook. Let's be frank with what it is. And unfortunately, Pelosi had to capitulate to them because otherwise the bill wouldn't pass. But, and here's why, here's why we know that. Number one, this is not unusual spending. This is not a precipitous increase, nor is it new whatsoever. This is typical. So why now? That's all publicly available information. Mm. So why now is the squad protesting this? Secondly, we know that it's going to get in under the annual defense spending bill. We know that from the Appropriations Committee chairwoman, who's a Democrat, who reassured everyone, don't worry, they'll still get their money. So what is it about the squad having to stand at the podium and make their voices heard even more on top of their obnoxious, terrible anti-Semitic comments they've made in the past, especially for these four who always say that they need, they are the ones, they're the barometer of our American conscious that we need to bring us back to, that humanity matters for all, Mm -hmm. equality matters for all. Why then is this defensive system where it protects the lives of everyone not revered in their eyes? It's totally political. Absolutely. Totally. And Morgan, look, you have some sane Democrats, and I know I just use sane and Democrats in the same sentence, but some who are pushing back and saying, look, 4,400 rockets came across over at Israel just this spring. This is necessary. You know this, Morgan. You lift it. Yeah, and, and, I, and it's great that some of those moderate Democrats spoke out, and some of them very strongly in the House ag- against these representatives. But, you know, mm-hmm. this um, ideology is not new to the squad. We all remember 9-11 quite well. And remember, after 9-11, right after it happened, there were people in this country um, that thought that we deserved it that thought that innocents deserved to be attacked because they disagreed with our military uh, policies around the world and with our military presence. And so that type of ideology is applicable here because the Iron Dome simply protects innocents from terrorist attack. And so it's got to, it goes back to this ideology that we've seen for over 20 years in this country that innocents in America or, or Israel in this case, it doesn't matter when innocents die if you disagree uh, with 
with the policy and think that in some weird twisted way that they fundamentally deserve it. Finally, I would just say that Israel has really depleted their Iron Dome interceptors because of what we saw happen uh, this spring with uh, earlier this year with Hamas. And that's why it's even more important now more than ever to make sure that those get reinstated. Absolutely. John and Senator Tom Cotton noting that this removal of the Iron Dome funding from the short term spending bill happened on the same day he proposed a bill that was rejected by Democrats to label the Taliban a terrorist organization. Congressman Lauren Boebert pointing out also after we gave tens of billions of dollars of weaponry to you get it, the Taliban. Is there a certain word that we use to describe people who aid in the assistance of the destruction of Jewish people? Is there a certain word that comes to mind if you describe somebody like that? Yeah, there's a certain word that comes to mind, all right. So on top of that, we arm the Taliban with American weapons. I mean, it seems like uh, the Taliban and everybody that hates Israel, that Biden administration is the best thing ever happened to them. It's absolutely disgusting to see what's going on. They need to replenish those rockets. Can you imagine had they not had enough rockets when those pictures you just showed were happening? You'd have had a lot of people. And I would ask the squad if those rockets ever hit the ground because of lack of defensive missiles. Are you going to let those Israelis pile up on our border and let them in and escape uh, what's going on in their country like wow. you're letting everybody else do it? Yeah. And support for Israel used to be bipartisan. It's increasingly not looking to be the case. So sad.